I see people, a lot of people, more people working, not resting, but you know, I think that's another message, but the topic of the message that, you know, uh, God just put in my heart when I just entered the door, um, is very important uh, to understand this message. But the topic of this message, the reality aiming to inspire or expire people. Are you aiming to inspire people or expire them? Now, the thing is, I know you see the spire thing going on with the words. But the thing is, you know, we live everyday lives on this earth like, you know, I see people, I watch people. I always like to watch people and see where every individual is operating in their own spectrum and seeing things from their own their own spectrum and getting a t interpretation of life concerning their viewpoint. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that every individual is is a different viewpoint of how looking at the world these days. They they came from somewhere maybe not good or someone came from a good background, bad backgrounds. You know, all kind of mix with that. You know, I know mix with good and bad. Um, demise circumstances. Don't have a father. Had a mother. Had parents. I mean, had a small house. Had a big house. Had a medium-sized house. Had an apartment. You big family, small family. There's so many perspectives of viewpoints that people are seeing from. And guess what? In those viewpoints and in those information concerning the things that you hear and see, it's going to either inspire you to be a better person or it's going to make you think that you must expire you to be a, a worse person. Um, as you know, inspire is all about uplifting. I want to say that again. Expire is, I mean, inspire, sorry, excuse me. Inspire or inspiration is all about uplifting. And of course, I was raised in church. My family, well, I, my family was raised in, I call it religion. Um, and I, you know, I see the rituals that uh, went on and it just, you know, I'm puzzled, you know, at least. I I'm, I will every time I went to church and went here, I have that like the cartoons that question mark right here. What what is this? You know, um, uh, the thing is, but you know, God gave me that answer. You know, in when I was what? Let me see, twenty two. When I was uh, twenty two, I was staying with my friend. Well, my I consider my cousin James Adams. And I start realizing what Christianity, what a relation, that difference between religion and relationship is all about. And in that starting, God start revealing me about true inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the you know gospel songs inspire you to want to have a closer relationship with God and want to love one another. But I'm starting to notice that. How they were doing it was, you know, one dimensional, you know, it was one dimensional kind of inspiration because what kind of like disturbed me about the ideal when I started really serious about being a Christian and start finding out about what it's all about. When I went to the family bookstore, I'm looking around and I'm looking at it like, what is going on here? You know, saying concerning about they have a lot of Christian stuff going on. But a lot of Christians ain't going there, you know. A, a lot of uh, it should be like, you know, the stuff they had in there. You should think that a lot of Christians should be flocking to this area to get stuff here. To me, I just like as Christian stuff. Christians should come get Christian stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it is less people come up in there. You know, it's like that's crazy. We we're supposed to have a lot of Christians in this stuff and have have a lot of churches. In, in this area sure there should be a lot of Christians going to Christian family bookstore getting Christian items 
that's not the case. They're going to other places to get items. And I thought that was big red flag. I'm like, that is nuts. I mean, you know, and being a Christian and just, you know, really getting into it. And I'm finding out all the flaws that, you know, were going on in Christianity concerning the idea of Christianity. And it's just like shaking my head. It just, I just can't believe that this is going on and this is the play this is supposed to be the people that's supposed to inspire people to get them life and life more abundantly these are supposed to be the people that's going to help everybody in their life and it just troubled me you know seeing how the true reality of churches and the thing is i it and of course god was saying well you know god this needs i'm telling god this needs to stop i mean this is crazy i mean this is uh, this the, the Christianity is not in a position to really truly make the Jesus impact, I say, to the world if this is going on in my city. I mean, I don't want to imagine what's going on in other places. The um, thing is, and I learned, you know, what, and of course, Jesus taught me what needs to be done. And it's like, God, that is kind of far fetched. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's like, and you know, you are going to do it. Like, what? No, I mean, yeah, I was just like, yeah. But uh, the thing is, but I found out, you know, about true meaningful inspiration. You know, me, personally, my number one inspiration, and when it comes to music, that inspired me to go 100 for God and be more passionate and more about attacking the devil is holy hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? I listen to holy hip hop. I listen, to, or y'all call it Christian rap. I call it holy hip hop. Um, the thing is, I listen to that, and that gives me a real perspective to really see things in a reality, to be inspired to go about doing something. Not seeing it because I listen to the gospel. I, I did listen to gospel music and contemporary Christian music, but what disturbed me about that idea of gospel and contemporary Christian. That they're both gospel. Why you just want to call them all gospel? That bothered me. Um, it was category. They're categorizing the gospel. No, I think that we should not category the gospel. We should be the gospel that's all about reaching out different cultures. You know what I'm saying? That's what should be defined as true gospel music that reach out to all cultures in all shapes and all sizes, whether it's this gift, that gift, whatever gift is possible. God gave us these gifts not to just, you know, keep them back, but gifts that can inspire is what we're supposed to be aiming towards to do. And of course, you know that this world system is not the words that they and the images that they uh, give people is not inspiring stuff. They're, they're giving you images and words and images to inspire expire you because it's a majority talking about uh, leading you to sin. You know what I'm saying? You know, cussing and fussing, fornication, all kind of bad stuff that, you know, they put in these lyrics these days. And I listen to that stuff. And I, I listen to around. I listen to other people listen to that, you know. And I'm like, wow. And I see how people enjoy listening to lyrics that will is motivating you to uh, de degrade degrade yourself. You know what I'm saying? To be more lesser to yourself and treat a person lesser than themselves. You know, mistreat people, um, hurt people, uh, damage people. And the thing is, they're not listening to the words. They're just you know uh, listening, enjoying what how they're doing it and yielding their ideal, yielding themselves to influence and follow those and be yielded to do those harmful things to their body and the harmful things that end up harming one another is what's going on that is expiring people that people are not trying to be well aware of of what activity and you're getting to in the places that you're going to that's motivating you to do that activity that's making you more or less of a person. And it's like the sad part about it, people operating so much, you know, it's a put you in a prideful mind state. 
that you think you better than everybody, you try to be better than everybody, you do whatever it takes to be better than everybody, to cause harm either with your lips and talk, jump, you know what I'm saying, you know, fight somebody. It's, it's just crazy, heinous and terrible things that I've been seeing, you know, and on Facebook. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff I see, and it's sad. I, it saddens me. I don't be like, that girl need to stop doing this. That man don't be... No, I'm not, I've never been a judgmental person, and I think I never will be, but I, it saddens me, and I feel sorry that you were placed in a position to be influenced in a way that is, will cause harm towards you. I'm saddened about people that listen to that stuff, that they are believing something that's going to lead them to perish, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, that's why. I present things of inspiration, but I tell people I tell the truth with it. I'm going to bring the truth, and I'm going to be confident and and hardcore with what I speak. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm 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 serious and hardcore about people becoming better people, and that's what God you know made me. You know He put this in me to do this. You know I tell people it's not Mac Johnson. That you know is doing this is the greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Through Matt Johnson, I'm doing what I do to inspire people best way as possible to not go that wrong direction. And um that's what I'm motivated to do. And I just let it yield to the greatness inside me to utilize me to best way as possible because I look around, y'all, and wow. Words cannot describe to what hideous and how bad this world is getting each and every day of the seeing the expiration going on around my area and people in position to be expired. It's just hideous. Hideous to my spirit and it aggravates me. It aggravates my spirit and it that I take the aggravation. And bring inspiration to some kind of way or shape or form whatsoever, whether on Facebook, on YouTube, to try to help counteract this evil force that is trying to steal, kill, and destroy everybody. Y'all know who that person is. But the thing is, um, we need more inspiration. This world needs inspiration. And only inspiration concerning the word of God is only can bring healing and true deliverance and true salvation to people i mean you can't yes i like to say positive things and speak wisdom but i gotta say jesus christ is the only person that's going to be capable of bringing you to the place that you need to be of deliverance to get you out of this bondage get you out of this trap that this world is creating each and every day that it's amazing to See it, and you know, and the thing is, you know, I, when I see it, I look at people and see if they see it, and it's like, it's like whatever. Somebody's on the corner without no clothes. I mean, half naked clothes. The guy don't got a house, homeless, whatever. I mean, what walk by, it. walk by her, you know, got kids screaming in their ear with five kids and no husband. I mean, walk by it. Who cares? I can't walk by that. I, my love, the love that God put in my heart cannot walk by that. It can't ignore what's going on around the negative things that are going on. It has to do something about it. And the thing is, I encourage you in this message that, that you be yield yourself unto God to be a person to inspire people to live a better life and not expire. Them. Look, I know nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I, I'm aiming for perfect. I aim for perfection, but I am not perfect. Don't think one bit Mac Johnson is perfect. Mac is not perfect. He's just going after this perfect God that's going to give him the ability to help him become a better and better Christian best way as possible. That's how I roll and that's how I do what I do. No, by, not because I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? God loves using imperfect people, including me. 
All right, but that's the top of the message. I hope you be inspired to inspire and stop this crazy expiring because.